so my name is Chris and I'm working with the Roundhouse to create a project fusing aerial circus with uh, projection and digital media. I'd like to bring projection into circus because I think we can add another dimension to what's happening on stage and in the air. Um, we can, by adding projection, we can add an element of lift and movement and connection to another world. Well, the future for me is that I'm trying to develop a production using circus and digital media. Um, so this was a really good uh, chance for me to explore and give a workshop to young artists. But for me, it's about making a final production. But before we go into making the final production, we'll probably go back into the studio for two or three weeks with a professional circus artist and again, a digital company um, to look at things a little bit more in depth and choreograph things a little bit more uh, perfected and just see what comes out again. So my name is Ben. Um, I'm taking part in an R&D project with Chris from Chrysalis, looking at uh, video mapping and various bits of movement. I worked with Chris on a different R&D which was similar. It was based on grim fairy tales and we had a lot of fun that day. Um, so I'm familiar with the elements that he's put into today's R&D. So I'm looking forward to what's going to happen tomorrow when we develop more of the stories to, uh, with our bodies, how, how we're going to portray the stories with our movement and our creativity with the shadows and the aerial equipment. Looking at ravens specifically and how we can use gauze. So we've got gauze rope the back of the theatre um, and the video projection going in front of the gauze. So it will hit the gauze and hit the back with us in between. And so you can play around with what hits, what bit. Um, and so the audience will see a circus performer and projection and they kind of overlap with each other. So we're trying to play to see what's, what's the most interesting and what, what can we get out of that. Um, I'm really interested in the sort of projection thing and I'm also sort of interested in learning how a show is devised. Like I've never sort of had an experience right from the beginning, which has been really interesting for me to learn about the whole process of a show as opposed to just here's what we're doing, let's go straight to rehearsals. So that's been really great. The video projection, working with the video projection is really nice because you can forget who you are and you're not um, showing off your skill, you're just trying to create something and improv something that's for someone else and it was really lovely because he chose this perfect song and just to move around that feels um, exciting and new and fresh and um, out of my element and I really enjoyed it because I'm used to creating specific acts and then doing a higher height so I really enjoyed something that was lower and just using more spin and more uh, movement with the projection and with the music.